everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've been using Hermes slash every for about the past, what, three or four years? In the last two years, um, I've been using them pretty much every day, multiple times a day. And I've always said how good they are, despite the overwhelming majority of people that absolutely hate them. Um, I've never had issues with them like the ones I hear of other people, so I don't know if I've just been really lucky or what, but I've always used them and I think in the whole time I've used them, like hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of parcels, um, I've had two that have been lost, one that was broken. I don't really sell breakables, so even when I did, I was very terrified, so I did wrap everything like extremely well, and, and I only had that one issue, but I put that down to my own fault because that was like quite at the beginning when I I wasn't wrapping things as well. But the majority of things that I've sold have been clothes, so it's things that can get chucked around and that, you know, won't break. And I've always recommended them to people because of the price, you know, it's a really great price, fully trapped and all that kind of stuff. But last week I had a buyer contact me from eBay and I'd done 300 auctions one weekend and I'd sold like a third of all of that, so about 100 parcels and they'd all gone with Hermes and I got a message off this buyer saying that they'd received the parcel, they'd opened it and inside were these three bottles of what are they like shampoo or I don't even know what they are but definitely wasn't the dress that they bought. Uh, so straight away I thought it was really strange and assumed that the buyer maybe had got it wrong and that she'd ordered you know, something else and that wasn't actually my parcel. But when I zoomed in and looked at the label and the barcode and everything, and I had a look on my side, um, it matched. So it was the parcel that I sent. So I went on the tracking information and had a look at the driver's photograph, you know, of proof of delivery. And this is their photograph, which for one thing, how is that proof of delivery? They literally chucked it over the woman's fence. But I can see straight away that obviously the parcel's blue and I don't have any blue, I don't send any blue parcels. This is actually a picture of the parcels that went out and they're all purple and grey. And the one to this particular buyer was grey. So when she sent me pictures of the packaging, you could see my grey parcel that I'd originally sent was there. This had somehow been opened and the contents replaced with these random bottles and then resealed in the blue bag and then a label put on the top. Now on my side of the tracking I couldn't see that there'd been any issues whatsoever but on the buyer's side she could see that during the transit that it said it had been resealed or relabeled. So there is possibility that yeah maybe the parcel got ripped or somehow. When you like zoom in on the parcel it's a pretty clean line. I mean these bags that I've got they're really them like quite heavy duty ones. They're not the really they're not them thin rubbishy ones. Maybe it got caught in a machine or something, I don't know. I just find it highly unlikely for that to happen on, by accident. So I thought maybe it was just me being paranoid or something, so I do what I always do and Google it. And the first thing that popped up was this guy on Reddit saying that he had received or sold a PC and the bottom had been cut open, contents removed, and replaced with shampoo bottles. I mean, how coincidental is that? How can that happen? on multiple occasions. And I've heard many bad stories about Hermes before, but I've never really paid attention because my experience was always decent. But as I got down this rabbit hole, there is just thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people sharing their stories. And it's not just damaged items, which I thought that was the main issue because we've all seen them videos of the drivers, you know, chucking the boxes around and into the van and stuff. And so I thought, you know, damage was the main issue. I didn't know this theft thing was going on, but it is a thing. And if you Google it, there is so much like footage, CCTV footage and photographs and door cam, you know, the ring bell, what are they call Ring doorbells, them. Because more people use that kind of thing. So, you know, so the drivers are being caught actually on camera. So like, how can they argue it? So I got in touch with what was Hermes now every, and I was surprised to actually get quite a quick response. But I got a message back saying they're sorry, um, that I think that it was done intentionally and that they can see on the tracking that clearly it had been mixed up with another parcel and labelled wrong. And this kind of annoyed me because, because whilst you would assume and hope that this is true, how do you know? This lady doesn't know. How does she possibly know that that happened? without like, you know, 
getting the warehouse CCTV and tracking it down. But this lady doesn't know that. And when you look online and see the overwhelming amount of evidence that Hermes delivery drivers, I'm sure it's not just them, but they're the main ones, do steal parcels. And I'm not saying this is every Hermes delivery driver because I know two and they're brilliant and very trustworthy and very nice people. So I know it's not everyone, but it's a big number. I mean, even yesterday it was posted in some newspaper that a delivery driver was caught dropping a parcel off in like a, you know, like foyer corridor bit and going away and then coming back and taking the parcel. <laughs> Like how cheeky can you get and how stupid do you not think that there's cameras in them communal areas but that was just yesterday so how does this customer representative know that it wasn't stolen and replaced with shampoo balls if that happened to all these other people and the countless number that haven't put it on the internet so i find it interesting that they've changed their name to every all of a sudden and you gotta wonder is that because they lose every parcel that wasn't my joke um i saw that posted a few times online <laughs> And it made me laugh. I don't think they thought the name through very well. The problem isn't the name. The problem is these drivers and obviously not all the drivers. But there's a high number that, let's face it, are actually just criminals. Stealing parcels is theft. Purposely damaging parcels is criminal damage. That's not your property and you're damaging it on purpose. Like, check out this guy. He can't fit it through the letterbox so he just puts it on the floor and stands on it. That's someone else's property. So the CEO of the company said that the change isn't just about the name. So I'd really like to know what else they are doing. I've noticed that the customer service response has been significantly better than any time I've ever tried to contact them before. So whilst that's a plus, I'm still not happy that this customer representative, who was a real person, not a robot, which I appreciate, but they just assume that it must have been accidental when there's such a huge amount of evidence pointing in the other direction. Like, is it just a few bad apples? How many bad apples can there be? You know, I've been trying to think of the reasons of why this is such a problem for this company. And, and you can't just blame it on like low pay or being overworked. I mean, I've seen the amount of parcels they deliver and stuff. So I can excuse the throwing of parcels. I can excuse the rushing and the chucking them about. I really can. If you're like so stressed and so short on time and have no money. I can get over that. But intentionally damaging parcels, like look at this guy. Why is he chucking them in that van like that? Like so aggressive. It must take more energy to throw them the way he's throwing them than just to place them in. Like it's ridiculous. And intentionally stealing parcels, like this guy here, this CCTV camera caught a Royal Mail postman delivering this parcel and leaving it there. And then not long later, Hermes guy comes drops his parcel off and then just takes the other one and runs away. So I thought it'd be fun to finish this video with just a little compilation of Hermes drivers being caught red-handed stealing and damaging people's property for no reason. So please share your Hermes horror stories down below and let me know if you've had any of your parcels stolen or sliced open and the contents replaced with shampoo bottles or whatever bottles they are. But here are the Hermes guys doing their job.